All right, so we're gonna go through the lower end seal kit, uh, disassembly and reassembly of the Weewa pump. This is a six to one. Uh, this is like the second generation pump that we've used on our machines. Um, you'll identify it easily by seeing the fill port for the oil on the lower end, which seals, or I'm sorry, um, lubricates the packing seals that we have here. Uh, so first thing we want to do is remove this lower piping from the upper assembly, which we can use an adjustable, and there's wrench points here on the side, uh, if need be. Throw a torque bar on there. Let's just unscrew. Now when this comes off, there will be a spring. It's not crazy compacted, so it's not a risk of any sort. And you'll have the lower piston come out as well. So I'm gonna take this piece out here. Set the side, do a quick inspection, make sure you don't have any kind of debris or um, your ball at the bottom is free, able to move around. You see that pretty good? Yeah, yeah, a little white ball down there. So this looks good. We'll move on to the next step. Uh, we have protectors here on our vise to try and not bang up the paint job on our pump, but you want to get a good clamping on the top end here. Um, typically, uh, you just don't want to, you know, use the soft plate, the rest, the rest of it's pretty solid. So the first thing you want to do is take this lower cup seal off. Uh, you have a wrench point here and here. This is going to be 27 millimeter, the smaller one is 19. Taking it off, if you're discarding of this seal, you don't have to worry about it too much, but when we go to put that back on, you want to make sure you're not hitting this, you know, your brand new seal with the wrench and causing any damage to it. our old seal. Now our spring will just slide right out. Then we're going to take a six mil wrench and remove the four allen bolts holding on the rest of this lower assembly. Now if your pump already has oil in it, you're going to want to probably drain that ahead of time. Um, and then when you remove this top, it will get a little messy, so just be aware of that. And obviously your assembly will probably have its components on here. So, you know, if you have a 150, you'll have your regulator on here, the 650s as well. I think there's a 90 on that. Uh, but whatever configuration you have, this will still obviously apply for your pump. So get this last bolt out of here. There's gonna be a gasket ring here that you're gonna to wanna to keep a close eye on. Get a shot of that, people often lose that. So we're gonna keep that there. Now what we're trying to go for, you know, we got our cup seal, now we're gonna get our packings out. These are your two brand new cup seal and packing. Now, you know, the first one fell right out. The other ones are kind of stuck up in there. You can try to pull them out from the bottom. Sometimes they're a little bit of a pain in the butt. So we're going to put this down. We're going to take a flathead screwdriver. And without scoring the side of the piping or anything like that, you want to try to catch the edge of the lower seals there. If we can get a good shot of that. So you have... There you go. You got red, green, and white. We're gonna get those three out of there. So it's really gently, <clears throat> I'm just resting the tip of that on there. Just tapping this out. Again, making sure not to score the lower edge or the lower inners. 
of that. But this pop right out, right? So these are now to be disposed of. And <clears throat> again, we're gonna inspect this, make sure we don't have any crazy amount of debris or buildup of any sort. This again is looking pretty good. If you do uh, have anything of that sort, you can rinse it out with, you know, Dawn and uh, warm water. Uh, you can use a light brushing tool, toothbrush, something like that, pipe cleaner, to clean anything out that may be of a disruption. Disruptance. The other piece of the puzzle you want to inspect here is your lower piston. You'll see in a bad case scenario scoring along this piston. Now you'll have minor scoring, which is okay, but if you have an actual groove in this piston, you can try to lightly sand that down with really fine sandpaper, uh, or otherwise you'll have to replace it, in which case you just remove this pin, this pin here, uh, unscrew your piston, put the new one on, replace the pin. It's pretty easy. And the replacement cost is not awful. So, we're going to take our packings and remove this tape. And we're going to put these in one at a time. The, the larger one is the last to go in, but they have to stay in this order. So, we'll take our first, we'll drop it in there, and then we're going to guide it in with our fingers along both sides, making sure they don't flip around. Make sure they're getting in there pretty solid. And notice the red one's a little softer, the green's a little harder, and the white one's pretty solid. So we got that on there, and now we're going to go in reverse. So again, we have our seal, we're going to remember that, right? And while you're putting these back on the piston, you got to kind of hold on to the package you just put in, so they don't pop out on you. Use your spring, that'll hold those in place. Let me get these started. There we go. I'm going to set the gasket in place. If any of these look kind of dry, any gaskets that is, feel free to oil them. Like grease. If it seems to be stretched out, for instance, this one is getting there, but I think we'll be able to save it, you can absolutely replace that as well. Let's see if we can get this to sit. If you need part numbers for anything, just give us a shout here. Clear Blast Fire System FP Group. We'll be happy to get those for you. Office number 610-431-1672. You can also be reached by email info at fpgroupllc.com. Epson Frank, Pease and Patrick, group llc.com right, so we're going to replace our four bolts on the top here once you go to tighten these in you're going to do like a four lug tire cross pattern you're also going to take into consideration your particular machine so for instance a 150 you have the air end coming in from the back here and your water is actually coming out here so you want to pivot this to the proper position so that everything else will fit properly on your machine once you get to put that together you know, the 650s the other way around it's, the air is coming in the back and that's rotated here so you can see it hit 90s and goes backwards so take that into consideration so we're going to take our six mil allen wrench Tighten these bolts back on.
Then from there, we're gonna put our cup seal on. Now again, you're gonna be very cautious. You know, make sure your spring's on there. Be very cautious not to damage the edge of this cup seal. I'll tell you, if you got it, put a little sealer on this thread. It doesn't come loose on you, right? There are some copper backers at the end of the um, at the end of the threading there that will uh, hold that for you, but this is a little more insurance. Just be cautious not to get this on your actual seal on the cup seal. So get that started. snug it up again 27 on the large side 19 on the small being cautious not to hit the cup seal with the 19 and we're gonna take our bottom end and put this back on just work it a little bit onto that cup seal get your thread started short not the cross thread One's on a fight us. There we go. Before I put a wrench on, I'm gonna go back to where we started. Gripping with the lower wrench points there. completed the seal replacement of the bottom. Uh, at this point, you're going to take your pump, you're going to put it back on your machine. Once you get it back on, you want to take your, your oil um, and take that level back up to about halfway point of your sight glass. And uh, that's it. Good luck, guys.